What's going on everybody, Jackson Desjardins here and I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Wanted to give you guys like a little update. I just finished my guest room in here and it's gonna be great because I have my buddy Liam moving in here who's gonna be my videographer and my video editor all summer. It's gonna be great, I went to college with him. And I'm actually going to be meeting him at Alpha Land next weekend. Those of you who don't know, like Christian Guzman, I followed him for a very long time, I still do. He's one of the OG fitness influencers and he, owns the company Alpha Elite, which is like 90% of what you see me wearing. And he just opened a massive facility called Alpha Land. And it's got like three gyms. It's got like retail for Alpha Elite and a bunch of other businesses. And me and Liam are gonna go, we're gonna vlog the whole thing for you guys next week. Whether the video goes up next Sunday, which is like when we'll be there, or I wait a week, we'll see. But we are gonna be there and it's gonna be super fun. But yeah, this is gonna be Liam's crib for the summertime. But look, I get a bunch of questions about what are some like really good low calorie and like high protein options to get from the grocery store because I know a lot of you guys are trying to get in shape, lose some fat, and uh, you gotta be in a calorie deficit to do that. We know these things. So I have just found that there are certain products that I get at Walmart that help me do that and be wicked happy while I'm doing it. So I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorites and there's gonna be quite the variety. So we're gonna do the vlog things that you guys seem to want to do. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's because you don't follow me on Instagram. So if you followed me on Instagram, I posted a story that was like, what, what's the content that you guys wanna see? And a lot of you guys was a resounding, like more vlogs, lifestyle vlog, behind the scenes like type stuff, which is convenient because we're doing a lot of that this year for Grind360 over the summer. But um, that's gonna start probably very beginning of June. And of course, if you guys are new here and to provide a little bit of credibility for what I'm about to show you, I personally lost 100 pounds and I help other people do the exact same thing with my online program called the Fat to Fit Blueprint, which is gonna be one of the first links down below if you're interested. We have a wicked great community in our Facebook group that comes along with the program and if you're interested in losing some weight and you want like a guided system of me like holding your hand and showing you exactly how to do it, to make sure that this is the last time you have to lose weight, then do enroll in the program. I'd love to see you in there and it's your time, my friend. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, there's gonna be a link that you can click to book a call and see if we're gonna be a good fit. So I'll see you guys over there. Ugh. All right, guys. Let's hit Walmart. So guys, we are vlogging on the GoPro and I wanna start doing these kinds of things in my videos a lot more, just kinda of taking you guys around because I'll be honest with you, like I don't have the most interesting life ever. I mean, I, I have an online coaching and digital products business. Um, something else is gonna be in the works very soon, but I like keeping it real with you guys and I just think I have a lot more to say than I have to show you guys. And that'll be changing this summer because I'm gonna have Liam moving in and we're gonna be doing a lot more content like that, but I'm gonna be hopping on the shorts, those YouTube shorts and like TikTok and you know, all things considered. We're hitting this, we're hitting this turn. Let's do this together. And we gotta do a hard stop. Good thing I'm holding you. But bottom line, guys, I wanna take you more behind the scenes of my life because a lot of you guys have been messaging me wanting that and I wanna get you guys more familiar with me, with Chloe, with my family, and of course, my dog Buddy that I'm picking up on the 12th. But all in all, it's, it's just kind of like an opportunity for me to be more authentic on camera with you guys because you can only be so authentic when it's like you're giving a lecture, right? You're like talking to a camera. But uh, it's nice when I feel like you guys are actually here with me. Word of the wise life hack, always park super freaking far away. I'm literally parked so far from the entrance at Walmart right now, and I wouldn't have it any other way because number one, I can get my steps, and number two, I don't gotta worry about nobody digging my truck. So I have like four dings in this bitch, but they happened like the first week I got it, so it was just like a, hey, get comfortable with this type thing. But yeah, it's a great way to increase your neat so your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Basically, the more things that you do during the day that aren't exercise that burn calories. And I enjoy my walks, therapeutic. So I'm gonna go into Walmart, can't bring you guys with me because I got busted the last time I tried to bring you guys in the grocery store. I don't know what it is, but uh, yeah, I am gonna grab these groceries and I will be right back and we're gonna catch up with Chloe at home. All right, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't take every single, if you don't take every single bag, one trip, do you really have the right to say you're a man? We got the goods, now it's time to reveal. All right guys, so we have got back from the grocery store. Chloe has made it. Chloe, say hello. Hello. Hello, friends. <laughs> so guys, this is like the anabolic 
high protein, low calorie, this is everything that I eat, right? And everything on here is pretty consistent for me. Everything on here is like some stuff that I eat at least on a weekly basis. When I'm trying to lose fat and like hold on to my muscle, it's not as much for like, call it bulking because it's pretty calorie conscious stuff here. But we're gonna start on this side right here because we're gonna start with, with all of our carb sources, right? So these are some of me and Chloe's favorites. So we've got Kodiak oatmeal right here. So like everybody knows Kodiak cakes at Walmart and stuff like that. Kodiak oatmeal is actually a huge W. This stuff is super good. I've never had the strawberry one, so I can't speak for this one, but the maple brown sugar one, cash money. And we've got, of course, the Kodiak power pancakes. Mm. These are an OG. These are a huge staple in our household because yeah, we go through a lot of them. And one more thing, guys, as far as the Kodiak oatmeal and the, the power pancakes, they're both 190 calories a serving. 10 grams of protein, normal oatmeal and pancakes. Nowhere near that much protein and more calories per serving usually, so huge W. And we're moving on to Dave's Killer Bagels. So Dave's Killer Bread is an awesome brand, but the bagels, I'm not gonna tell you they're necessarily calorie conscious, they're the same calories as a normal bagel, but they just have way more protein. There's 12 grams of protein in, in one of these bagels, there's like two in a, in a normal bagel. So it's just a great way to get in an extra, extra 10 grams of protein which is cash. Keeping it moving, you already know where I'm going. We got the 647 bread. I cannot live without this stuff, guys. You've heard me preach about it on the channel. I use this daily, and it has never left my daily routine, whether it's the bread or the buns. Speaking of the buns, we have got the 647 bread and bun combo. You can ask Chloe that we always buy these every single week, and if they're not there, somebody getting their dick hole smashed, because I'm pissed. And keeping it rolling. These Simply Potato Hash Browns. Yummy. These are what I use to make my Sunday scramble usually. So this plus some egg whites, plus some fat-free mozzarella, which we will get to. Uh, that makes an awesome Sunday scramble. You can throw in some peppers, onions, whatever you want to throw in there. And it's super freaking good. I, okay, I don't know why more people in the fitness industry aren't talking about this. It is absolutely ridiculous. There's 10 grams of protein per serving with these. I don't even know what to call them. Like, are crackers, chips, like what would you call it? Like puffs? They definitely have more of a puff feel than So, a... the cheddar and sour cream, it's just my flavor. You guys know I love the ruffles, baked ruffles. Normal ruffles can suck my ass. Mm -hmm. But these are these are cash money, dude. They, they've got 120 calories per serving and 10 grams of protein. The whole bag is like 50 grams of protein. And quick math, 60, 600, 600 calories and uh, sure. 50 grams of protein. Let me know if my math is right. We've got La Banderita Carb Counter. You guys have heard me talk about these in a recent video with Chloe. We They're made awesome. we made quesadillas. These are awesome. Look at this. Look at this. 80 calories for this massive tortilla. That number. Guys. Mm -hmm. Huh? I said that number. It's crazy. They taste like uh, like normal freaking tortillas. I I, I normal guys, normal a tortilla this size, we're talking like 240 calories on average, right? I mean they're Heavy calorie dense. Pulled that number out of my ass, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Mm -hmm. We've got the essential, the illustrious. It's a big word. I don't even know if that is a word. <laughs> so let's assume it is. We've got the amazing Berea protein pasta. Guys, can't live without it. Chloe loves the elbow noodles. Me, on the other hand, I like the angel hair pasta. There's literally no other way to put it. There's 10 grams of protein per serving of this, and it's just really satisfying. You genuinely, guys, the goal here is like, if you can have things for the same amount of calories or less, and you can't taste the difference, things like that are what make losing weight much easier because you don't necessarily have to give up the things you love. You just have to make better choices. Chloe, why are these your favorite? Um, because I like to take a big spoonful like to take a big spoonful? And I go. Oh, so like no fork with the spoon? Yes. Okay, so you like spooning. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Hello. To complete the pasta, you need to get yourself some Lucini's pasta sauce. This stuff is sugar-free, it's organic, it's really good. Uh, it's a little chunky, which she does not like. She doesn't like tomatoes. <laughs> I've moved the chunks away. No, yeah, she, she'll literally eat this, guys, and like put sauce on it and take the chunks out. I'm like, just eat the dish. <laughs> But no, yeah, this stuff is cash money because it's 35 calories a serving, and norm normal pasta sauce is at least, it's like, oh, like over 100 a serving, if not much more than that. Gold Peak Real Brewed Tea Made With Zero Sugar. It's basically sweet tea, but like no calories. And look at that color. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and when I say no calories, 
I'm serious. There's no calories in this entire thing. And it is amazing. I genuinely can't tell the difference. Another example, guys. Another thing that we've got, right? Me and Chloe, me and Chloe do enjoy a good diet A&W, zero sugar root beer, because boom, that's why right there, we got the zero calories. Add that to a little halo top, you got Ooh. a little root beer float. Add it to some halo top, you got some root beer floats, guys. I'm just saying. Jackson's not allowed to have halo top. No, halo top rips up my asshole, so <laughs> I'll wake her up in the middle of the night just like dropping Hiroshima, <laughs> pretty much. You gotta call Truman. <sighs> Okay, now finally, actually, for the last thing with carbs. <laughs> I keep thinking it's the last. I can't forget these, though. I, guys, I mentioned this in the last video. These, 25 calories a pop, and these are really satisfying. They're literally just ice pops, the and pops. they're really good. And what's the, there's only one thing better than them, though. <laughs> and that is the Carb Smart Fudge Pops. Mm. These are so good. It literally just tastes like chocolate fudge. And they are 60 calories. Moving on to protein. Finally. Get the easy ones out of the way. Chicken breast. This is not the usual chicken breast that I buy, but there's a good old fat chicken shortage in the country right now. So I can't get my hands on any chicken. There's literally been no fresh chicken for the past three times I went to Walmart. So another one, Canadian bacon, right? Boom. This stuff is cash money. It's 60 calories for three slices and there's 10 grams of protein. I've been having this every single morning and it's really satisfying. You can put it on the pan. It tastes like bacon and my roots are Canadian. Yeah, really? Yeah, I'm, I go, I'm, 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 Desjardins is French Canadian. Oh. Yeah, or something new. And I couldn't leave this out. I saw it at Walmart. This is amazing. It's gonna have more calories and carbs than like other jerkies out there, but I just like the taste of Jack Link's and uh, Jack is a go-to name. So, add the sun, you got a S plus tier. That was lame. <laughs> yeah. So, you might be seeing this and be like, Jackson, this is a fat source. This isn't a protein source. Actually, you're wrong, because this is straight up just a protein shake. You guys have seen me talk about it. Fat-free mozzarella cheese. It also comes in cheddar. This is a no-brainer. I have this at least three times a week. Doesn't matter, I will always crush this. One serving, 45 calories, nine grams of protein. It's just, and it's cheesy, because it's cheese. It's the best. This is my sour cream, and by sour cream, I mean Greek yogurt. And by Greek yogurt, it's fage, 0% Greek yogurt. This stuff is literally amazing. The only thing that I use this for, because I don't like plain Greek yogurt just as is, the only thing I use this for is as sour cream. Like if I'm having a rice bowl, I'm putting 100 grams, 200 grams of this in there because I want to get that consistency. And it gives it to me, it's really good. So this is this is really good. And the other Greek yogurt that I get are these Dannon Light and Fit Greek yogurts. Mm. I know some of you guys follow Christian Guzman and that's where I found these because 80 calories and 12 grams of protein. These are a banger. And finally moving to the turkey. Last things on the list right here. Keeping it low calorie, keeping it high protein, guys. 93% lean, 7% fat, butterball, turkey burgers, and ground turkey. I make the ground turkey right here for my rice bowls. So if I'm crushing a rice bowl, definitely having this. And then if I'm having turkey burgers, this is the best option because it's like almost half the calories of the normal turkey burgers, which I will say taste better, but these butterball ones that are leaner, it's just like, you don't taste much of a difference. And if you season them right, they really don't taste that bad. And if you're having like a slice of cheese on there on a burger, can't really complain about too much, so. This whole time I've been looking at our this nice Christmas weenie towel. This ain't a Christmas weenie towel. This is the dirty the, Christmas. The dirty <laughs> Christmas weenie towel right here. I actually use the other one for cardio in there. If you, if, if you go on my Stairmaster, it's like, you think I'm lying? I will show you. I'm gonna hit the light, come on. Proof! <laughs> Proof's in the pudding. <laughs> but guys, as far as all of my low calorie, high protein options, this is what you're looking at. So um, definitely go out. I got all this at Walmart. So if you wanna go to Walmart and grab it, then that's gonna be a, a great move for you. Um, I know Food Lion has some of this stuff if you're out of the country. I have no idea what's at your grocery stores. They could sell live deer in there. I have no idea. Wow. But um, 
But wouldn't that be something? That would be cool. What if you could like actually hunt the animal in? That would make, that would step up grocery shopping. Store? If you're like, all right, I gotta hunt mine, I gotta earn it, right? They have like a pen where Obesity would be like all the way down oh here. Oh my gosh, because you like, have to run and get it? You want your Takis? You gotta earn your Takis. With I don't know. A spear? <laughs> I don't know who you have to hunt. Maybe they have a mascot and you have to fight them. Oh I don't know. my gosh. But I gotta put all this back in the fridge slash freezer. And Chloe and I have some Skyrim to play and we're watching Inception tonight. But regardless, we're gonna get all this back in the fridge and I will catch up with you guys in a second. So Chloe obviously has been playing a lot of Skyrim. I told you guys about this. And whenever, I, whenever she wants to play Skyrim is usually when I wanna play Fortnite with my friends because I do enjoy Fortnite and no building is way better, not gonna lie. All right guys, it's been a while in the making, but Chloe wanted to play a little bit of gameage Chloe wanted to go to bed. And Jackson was downstairs playing Fortnite with his boys. So you know I had to set Chloe up. This actually wasn't as expensive as I thought it was gonna be, but I had to mount it. It was super hard to mount back here because I was alone. It's not that it was hard. It's that it was hard alone, but I didn't ask for help, so I'm not complaining. I was but at work. Got her this Xbox. This is actually really cool too, guys, because it's like a 510 gigabyte and it's literally only needs Skyrim and like maybe Fortnite on it, so. Works out well and Chloe's officially a gamer. <laughs> Good Lord, <laughs> got problems. Pasta. So guys, here's the situation. I got Chloe's Xbox set up up here and we've done this before with my dad's Xbox and this didn't happen, but Skyrim people, please help me out if you're here. Um, once we downloaded it on the TV here, now she can't find Hendraheim, which is like one of the houses you can get in Skyrim. And I don't know why. And I did all the DLC, I did everything, everything's up to date. And she undiscovered Hendraheim, which is a location on the map. And I'm like, why? I cannot figure it out. If you know how to fix that, for the love of God, let me know. I will literally call you. I worked so hard. Also, you have so many popsicles in here. Yeah, so the only, downside about having those popsicles if you're like me is i chew on the sticks and i feel like if you don't chew on the sticks then we can't be friends but like they're all over my house because i chew on them and then i forget about them i walked in here saw that one i thought that was the one you were talking about then i walked in here and there's another one i saw this one yeah and they're all broken because i chew them a little yeah, bit all right, guys, on that note, that is going to do it for this video. So I hope that you found some cool groceries that you can add to your grocery list. And you can look forward to more behind the scenes kind of content like this with me and Chloe. And when Liam moves in, we're going to do a lot more of it. Next week, I will be at Alpha Land in Houston, Texas. So that's going to be an awesome time. I'm going to keep you guys in the loop. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see it kind of like live how it's going. And that video will either be up next Sunday or this or the Sunday after. But we're going to take it one thing at a time. But it's going to be super fun and I'll keep you guys posted. So on that note, I'm gonna leave you like I leave you every single video, my friends. Let's keep getting better together. Let's keep on grinding. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.